All right, Jiren, let's go jump right in. Of course, we got some bad news for Doki. I just went for Jiren's video. Of course, we got brand new about Jiren. Talked about him in his video. Not too bad, though. Of course, a very, very typical unit that's made. Of course, you know, a nowadays, you know, top tier, you know, unit LR. Um, not too bad, though. Like I said, I, I, I feel very, very good on Jiren, though. He, they did a really good job with him, balancing him out really well, honestly. Um, but yeah, of course, we got some new subbies in the form of, of course, Skinny Boo right here. We have also, of course, 7, 18 right here. I got the, I got my files confused. 18 right here, of course. We got 17, and of course, we got Piccolo. Thank you to, of course, oh, that's just George for part one I had it. Thank you, of course, to Doken, um, official, and of course, the wiki and everything, of course. But yeah, let's jump right in, though, of course. Um, again, they didn't have the leader skills, though, so I'm not going to be really worried about that too much. It's going to bother me a little bit, though, but I mean, it's fine. Um, but yeah, though, um, let's jump right in. So, of course, with Boo, a uh, super effect now, it's great to raise attack up for one turn. Supreme damage, a great chance of stunning. Uh, key 3, his new passive is Key 3. Uh, attack defense up 200%. And plus additional attack defense up 200%. High chance of performing a crit and a high chance of getting enemies attacked, including super attacks for 7 turns. Which is really, really good there. Again, he already has high attack and defense. He was already busted when he first originally came out. Plus additional attack, attack and defense and chance of performing a crit and the chance of getting enemies attacked, including super attacks per universe 7 category, uh, per rep of universe 7 category allies. Um, our ally attacking in the same turn, plus an additional attack defense of 7%. It just didn't receive by 7% with each attack received, each attack invaded up to max of 7%. They're pretty much dodge, dodge, crit, and dodge. So, um, in general for him. So, look like, yeah, give himself key, which is really good. He's self sufficient. Give himself a lot of attack and defense, which is really, really good. Um, you get a high chance of dodging, of course. Again, that's what he originally was made for. He's gonna be tanking really well. Really, really good for modern power teams. Again, that's gonna help you out a lot in the long run. Probably not some a lot of these for quote events because you know, all of them you know, car hero and villain units a lot. But I mean, you could probably just make some active team. It'll be able to the freeze event. You can test them out then because again, difficult content is always the best way to test out a unit no, no matter what you do. I think Boo did, they did a really, really good job with Boo. They balanced him out really, really well. He dodges, he tanks, and he does crit a little bit, though. I like his overall balance. Again, really, 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 really good at EZ right here. I like it, though. Of course, on 18, I already know she's going to be disgusting. So, here's the attack effect. Really, really, attack up for one turn. Supreme damage. Raise defense up by 50% for six turns. Uh, passive is that, um, now it's, um, that defense up. 100%, 180%, um, changes AG, physical to STR key spheres. To, no, to, okay, changes STR physical to tech key spheres. Plus additional attack defense of 30%. Per key sphere attained, plus additional defense of 50%. When receiving an attack, a, a, me, a medium chance of performing a crit, a chance to performing a crit of 18%. Per remote key sphere attained, up to max 50%, launch additional um, attack that has a high chance of coming up super attack when there's another Represent Universe category ally uh, taking the same t turn. Say t team. Team return. Turn. Reduce damage received by 35% when there's another battle with category ally attacking the same turn. So pretty much again, her and 17 were made, pretty much made for each other. So not gonna be that shocking because it's a little bit different for her. But again, she was a mainly back in the day when she first came out, she was an orb changer. She had orbs left and right. She did got herself a lot of attack defense with every key to attain. It pretty much adds that a little bit here. Really, really, really good job. Again, good job for these. I already know they're gonna be busted from the get-go. I already know they're gonna be destructive from the get-go. They're gonna be doing really, really good. They're gonna do really, really awesome. Really, really great overall, and I really, really love it. Again, they did a really, really good job with it. Happy with it. Really, really good. Again, good balance, again, for Orb Changer, Nuking, Crits. Again, you need pretty much, like I said, Negro Zuna for seven for all these figures, pretty much, because they were pretty much made around the time when that category was getting big, so... This is a good example. Again, Universal Devil Stock is still one of the best teams in the game. Like, these units will not be out of place in any of these teams. They're going to be really, really good overall. Like, 18 is going to be good in Universal Devil Saga. Boo is going to be really good. 17 and Piccolo. Like, they're all going to be really good in their own teams. Of course, now it's 17, the MVP of the tournament. So he does. I mean, I, I, I'm always confused. So now for his, um, it's pretty much. Well, I see high power bullets. I always think a, a super electric strike for freaking. Xenoverse 2. Great raise a defense up for one turn. Supreme damage. Raise attack defense. Raise attack up for six turns. Yeah. Great raise attack. attack, attack yeah. Great raise defense up for one turn. Supreme damage. And raise attack up for six turns. Passive now. Attack defense of 150. 170. Plus an additional attack defense of 17% per case fear attain. Plus an additional attack up 50% and defense of pump up 20%. Per tech case fear attain. Plus additional defense of 50% when attacking. When mean chance of any image attacks, including super attacks. His inventing enemies attacks, including super attacks. <laughs> okay, I guess for this one, it's this one and this one. Because it's two different lines. Um, plus 17% per, per rainbow case for attack up to max of 50%. Plus additional attack, that has a great chance to go super attack. Plus addition for if there's another 7 category ally 
Uh, Rose Leader for 7 category ally attacking the same turn. Um, Performs a crit when there's a battle with category ally on the team. Are him and 18 pretty much the same unit? Yeah, pretty much. They're the same, almost the same exact unit, just he just has this. He pretty much has, like, again, this, this, the Keith Fear, again, nuking, die. pretty much, like you see, him and 18 are pretty much going to be made for each other because they're both from Battle of the Wits. And, again, they they were, again, when they first came out, they were made for each other. It makes sense they were made for each other for this um thing. Of course, every 17, 18 for the tournament power, I usually feel like, in every Android in general, feel like they're always made for somebody like 21 and 16. Though, he tanks, she attacks, and heals up while... 17, you know, does more attack. But, yeah, for the kits, though, again, I'm not going to really be like, oh, my gosh. But they're t in general, like, in general, the kits are amazing. Like, they're, they're already good. Like, they're really, 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 really good. So, if you get these units, like I said, like, for, right now for global, make sure to save them, lock them up and everything. Of course, get their essays up because, again, they do have free essays where you um, tackle with the universe. It, there's so many universes of all the story events. The one that you get the free play AGL 18 with the jumpsuit right here. There's a free play AGL 18, and then there's like a free to play int 17. You can easily get them and just max essay them because, again, awaken those free play units, max them up. Again, very, very easy essay farm. But yeah, really, really good. Again, like I said, with 17, the new one that just got easy, you know, for part one of the Tana Boss celebration. Yeah, like I said, this, 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 again, these guys are going to be really, really good. On this pickle, of course, he definitely needed one. So now his attack, now his, it's, um, Massive Raise attack up for, um, Massive Raise attack, uh, Massive Raise attack and raises defense up for one turn. Supreme damage, lowers attack. His passive now is key one, attack defense up 200%. Attacks guaranteed to hit when HP is 80% or less. And still the attacked enemy super attack if HP is 80% or less. Um, which again, that's gonna be pretty high though, but like I said, I mean, that's gonna be pretty high. When attacking, plus additional attack of 100%. Take defense of 100%, performing a super attack, plus an additional attack defense of 100%, with another representative for 7 category ally attacking the same turn. If all allies in the team, on the same team turn are reversed to universe 7 characters, guard against all attacks, turn by participants, category allies, key 1, attack defense of 30%, plus additional key up 1 and defense of 30% for allies who are also reps universe 7. So, he, like I said, relies pretty much on himself though, you know, he's going to give himself attack and defense. Um, the more HP the opponent has, the pretty much higher chance, you know, he's going to do his things. Um, for his passive, really, he relies more on universe, on universe 7 slash two more participants. But like I said, well, he's characters on the same team. That's going to be honestly pretty fun, though, there. Um, with that, with Piccolo and everything. Like I said, it pretty much feels like, uh, you know, you need help, you know, if you have, you know, seven units, pretty much. He's going to be helping them now a lot. Though. Like I said, they're all pretty much made for universe 7. Let me see you do this. I feel like they're all pretty much, you know, made for, you know, you for seven in a nutshell, so. Yeah. It's just these four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm not sure. But yeah, like I said, they're all good in their own ways, though. So, um, I mean, yeah, like, again, Boo, Dodge, Bob and Weave, like he, like he did originally, tanking, some crit in there. Uh, Pickle, like I said, really, very self-sufficient. He looked like he relies more on Universe 7 category allies, pretty much. Or it's Universe 7 to help him out a lot, though. But overall, though, I think he's not, he's not, not another bad unit. Like I said, he's been better than some of these easy we've gotten this, you know, last year. And some of them, like, you know, probably been the, like, easy age year in. Or, like, you know, Universe... Because you guys, you guys seen the videos I did. Like, I think it was last year. All the easy age did kind of suck. So, again, these major celebration easy days are really, really good, though. Like, it helps out a lot of teams. Helps out a lot of units in general. Gets them up to date nowadays. Gets them, you know, really, really good. Really, really amazing and stuff like that. Of course, again, they're all amazing in their own ways. And I can say they're all bad because, again, these two are probably easily the best ones. I'll probably say Boo probably first, honestly. I think him. That I think is probably, you know, 18. Um, that will probably say 17. that will probably say Piccolo. Because, like, he's even more self-sufficient for himself, though. But he does lower attack, though. I could help you out, maybe. I know a lot of you just do it nowadays, but still. But in general, though, not bad for any of these subbies yet. They're all really, really good in their own different ways. So, I mean, if you have any of them, go you know, easy hit them. Again, that's 18 is going to be a nuke because she's going to be a crazy orb changer. 17, again, they pretty much rely on each other a lot, so it makes sense. Crazy orb changer. Crazy, crazy dodge, you know, tanking unit. Crazy, um, universe 7 support. And probably crazy bobbing and weaving and stuff. So, yeah, they're all amazing. So, yeah, see you guys there, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great love. Uncle Drew. Get down. Make sure it's safe. Watch it. It's all of you from that. But it works. So, it's all paper for you. You can back safe again. Go outside. Test with guys. Eat some copium. Shout out to my friends and dear co-soldiers. Everywhere. It's an awesome way. Good thing about all of them. Of course, you hate it again.
Not bad, not bad. I like what everybody can do. They're all really, really good and stuff like that. But yeah, it wasn't going to be me going to show this for like the next hour and a half. But yeah, see you guys later again though. Peace out.